Hello everybody, how are you? I hope everything is fine. Today we are going to look at this giant coffee cup for 11, 11 messages. I hope that we will see something really nice <laughs> for manifestation. What I felt before, you know, this reading, I was meditating on the energy. What I felt was like one by one, one thing at a time, one day at a time. Don't rush. Something, maybe you feel excited, maybe you feel anxious even. You know, maybe not really that fun excitement, but maybe it is just like a little bit anxiousness. Like, oh my God, what is going to happen with this? One by one. And if you feel any kind of a grief or sadness, and if you feel like you cannot get rid of that thing, one thing at a time. Focus on one thing at a time. And then maybe you are going to feel a little better after that. That was the message for some people, okay? But I don't think this reading is going to be grim, okay? I really don't think so. I am, I think I'm going to see what it is all about, like one by one, what it is all about. Maybe you're going to have a lot of choices. Maybe you will have a lot of things to do. And that's why you're going to put your energy like one by one. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. Maybe something like that is going to happen, okay? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, that, oof, that's money. That is money. Okay, it's coming to you. All right, that's a really good kind of a money. I like that one. Okay, your cup is divided into two. It is, again, okay, it is talking about like dealing with two things at the same time. You know, you cannot plan those kind of things. You don't know what is going to show on the cup, okay? When you just like turn it down, you don't know how the, you know, coffee is going to drop. You don't know what type of shapes that is going to make. It is divided into two parts, okay? So it is talking about, like, dealing with the different things at the same time. It can be draining. Please be careful about that. One by one. Priorities. That's going to be important, okay? For 11-11, what I can tell you that priorities are going to be important, now, I'm not going to read this line as like the anxiety line. Normally, I read those type of lines as like anxiety line, but this is not that. I do know that because it was there before I put the coffee. You know, the coffee made that line before even, you know, putting any kind of an intention. So I'm not going to read it like that. Okay, let's see the holder part, the immediate future. What you can have for the 1111 messages is cleanse. Cleansing yourself, cleansing your environment, cleansing your mind. Something is going to live your life. It is a good thing. It is a good thing. You're going to be like, thank God. You know, the uh, guest who happens to be overstaying and then they're leaving. What do you feel? Oh, thank God they left. You know, even though you love that person so much, okay, you love that person. But when they leave, you know, you have the house to yourself. You feel like, oh, thank God this is my home. Like, I can relax, I can do whatever, whatever that is going to come after that, you know, it does not matter, but you're going to feel the relief of it, okay, you know, uh, something that was creating some type of a clutter in your mind and in your head, it was just like, maybe in your heart even, it was creating some type of maybe um, uncertainty, okay, some type of clarity that you need it, it will come to you. This uncertainty will leave your life and you will have your clarity. You will know what to do. You will know what you are dealing with. It is a good sign. It is a really, really good sign, like a clean slate. Okay. Okay. That's over. What's next? That's a really good kind of a feeling for you. In 11.11, what you're going to have for you is like a new beginning. Or it could be for some people, something old or, you know, maybe an old relationship, old work situation, something that was not working well, it will have some type of a transformation. And then you are going to restart. It could be something like that for some people. We will see. Okay. I would like to see this is, by the way, if you hear anything behind, my cat is uh, making a little noises and I am so grateful for that because it is showing that she is still alive and happy. <laughs> so, Okay, um, you know, not every loud noise is bad. That's what I would like to say. <laughs> Sometimes it is showing that there's life, like, you know, there's something going on still. Okay, I saw there's like a, 
even it looks like a hut. Maybe it's like a house. I'm going to read it as like a house, like a small cottage, something like that. It doesn't have to be. But there's a house issue for some people. And if you are dealing with the papers for a house, if you would like to move into another house, if you would like to sell a house, if you would like to rent a house, that will be your priority first, I think. Or, you know, it doesn't have to be like just moving out. It could be like, okay, I am going to do some type of renovation for this house. If it is not a renovation, you know how it could be. That's what I felt at the, you know, okay, it makes a lot of sense now. When I was, you know, meditating on this energy for today, I had like furnitures and, you know, the wall paints and like decorations and stuff. You know, there was this girl who was just like talking about, it was like a short video, you know, for like TikTok or something. I don't know. Everybody told her to not to... Uh, paint the walls into like some type of green it's it was lovely green okay it was lovely if I were that person I would definitely paint that green okay that was amazing but it was a little darker okay and they told her like not to paint it dark because it's going to make it look smaller but she didn't listen and she painted everything in that green like it was like a beautiful green okay anyway and um and she picked like the right kind of decorations and the house looked amazing. And she was like, that was my house from the beginning. Why I listen to other people? Okay. You can have something like that. And I was like, yes, every time you, you would like to do something about it. Every time maybe you are dealing with those kind of housing, like what, what are you going to do with your own furniture? What are you going to do with your stuff? Whatever that is, you know, everybody's having an opinion about it. They are not living in your house. Again, you know, the feeling of it, like somebody overstayed, somebody a little, a little overdid something about your place, your, you know, space. Okay, and they're leaving. That type of an energy is leaving. This is your place. This is your space. And you can do whatever you would like to do. Nobody is going to have a say in it. And, oh my God, that feeling is giving me such relief. Like, oh my God, thank God. <laughs> Not dealing with the falls and just like doing whatever you would like to do. It's going to be amazing for you. And in your house, for your house... Whatever that is, selling the house, buying the house, renting a house, whatever that is, you know, buying a furniture, buying a decoration, just like, you know, Christmas decorations, whatever that is, it's all yours. It's your decision what color the walls are going to be. It's your decision what kind of couch that you're going to use. It's going to be your decision. It's all. That's all, you know. And I don't know why it is so important for somebody. It is so important for having that type of individuality, having that type of independence, having that type of like, okay, stay away from my space, stay away from my, you know, uh, boundaries maybe. That's going to be important for some people. Okay, that's the feeling that I get. Oh boy, that's good. I don't know why I'm so excited about it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but it is good. It is really, really good. I like it, okay? So... Um, there's a little news that you will receive. There's a little... Okay, now she's peeing. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I cannot close the doors because I don't want to lose sight of her. Okay, um, there's a little bit of a dropping. It is talking about like a some type of news that is going to make you even cry. It could be like a good cry. It's not a bad cry, okay? You know, we have in the coffee cup reading, there's a saying like, you know, the happy tears. And I think the news that you will receive is going to give you the happy tears. Of course, it's just like a symbol. You don't have to actually cry. But, you know, if you could, you would. I, I mean, or maybe, you know, if you push yourself a little, maybe you would. I don't know. But something is going to make you feel happy. Something is going to make you feel like, okay, that's really good news. Oh, my God. You will feel really, really good about that news, whatever that is, Okay. And uh, I think it could be related to a child. There's a baby feet I saw. I don't know why I saw that. Baby feet. Foot. Just one. Okay. Um, and um, you can have the news from somebody who happens to be maybe pregnant or maybe pregnant again. Or maybe it could be if you have a daughter at a certain age, you know, she could be pregnant and she could, like, give you a call and tell you that 
you're gonna be a grandma or grandpa or it could be like a niece for some people like a family family that's what i feel and you're going to feel so happy about it all right and what i saw down there is like uh what is that something is going to make you busy okay this is probably work related situation something is going to make you feel really really busy you will deal with, again, like dealing with a lot of things at the same time can be a little daunting. It could be a little, you know, consuming even. One by one, you have to do that. And having that type of like a priorities list, maybe you have to actually make a list. I don't know. But maybe you have to just like focus on what is really the most important thing, which is not that most important thing. I don't know, whatever you're going to deal with, but you are going to give yourself a little time to figure it out. And it's going to keep you busy. Not going to lie, you're going to be busy. I saw there's like a number three, three major things that are going to be important in your near future. And in 11.11, what I can tell you that numbers, synchronizations, those type of things are going to be really important. After this day, you are going to focus on those kind of things. It is showing that there is a manifestation is coming through for you, okay? And I think threes are going to be important. Mm. It could be third child of somebody, by the way, that, you know, the baby foot that I was speaking of. could be third child of somebody. Or, you know, it's just like talking about you're going to have like three children, maybe, you know, for some people. Back at the time, we were reading it like that. You're going to get married and you're going to have three children. <laughs> of course, we're not doing that anymore. I don't know why we're not doing that anymore, but you can have something like that. Maybe you're manifesting like a happy home with like three children. Okay, it is in your cup. That's what I can tell you. Like, this is your house, this is your manifestation, this is your space. Whatever you ask, it's going to happen in threes, okay? <laughs> so good. Okay, there's a um, there's an opportunity is coming to you. There's going to be like a door. I see like this is a door and this door is going to bring you like blessing, some type of a blessing. I'm not just talking about money. It is not just about that. Money is going to be there, yes. And, you know, if there's like a work-related situation, obviously you're going to make money from this work. But it, the money is not the most important thing that you can have from this situation. What you're going to have is like either, deal, you know, dealing with this network, dealing with this industry, having some type of like a say in this thing, having some type of a reputation, having some type of like, a, you know, a name for yourself. People are going to recognize you. People are going to ask you. People are going to be, you know, they're going to be around you and you're going to have some type of a power over the decision making. I think it's going to be really important and it will make you feel, okay, I am the one who is deciding. I don't know why, but in this cup, it is so, so prominent. Like I'm the one who is deciding, not you, not the others. I will decide accordingly and it's going to be good. Okay. If anybody was just questioning your authority on something, okay, like work related situation, let's say. They were like, you're deciding on something, you're saying that, you're declaring that, okay? You're saying, okay, this is how it should be done. And you are just making preparations for it. Maybe some type of a plan, some type of like execution of like a business plan, whatever that is. Someone else is just like, actually, I don't know. It's like, I... no, 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 no. In here, there's no such thing. You know, sometimes uh, constructive criticism could be really good. You know, yeah, that's a really good idea. But how about we do this? It would be really good. But, it, you know... The bad intentions, it shows itself. And those people are not going to be around you. You will have the last say. And it will make their heart break. <laughs> okay, I see there is like a road. But it is like in the horizontal way. It is talking about like a decision making. And it is talking about like a planning. Like this planning is going to take a little time for you. It's not just going to happen in maybe two months. It's not like that. It might take like six months. It might take a little longer than that. You know how it could be. For some people, it is all about marriage. I am going to get married. You're going to decide, okay? You know, sometimes people do that and I don't judge them in any possible way. Please don't get me wrong. You know, they, they feel like they're single. They don't have anybody in their life. But they have this intention of, you know what? I would like to be married. I would like to have my own home. I would like to have my own family. They decide on it first. You know, they have this intention. They set their intention in this thing. And after that, they either meet with somebody that they actually like. 
you know, they would like to get married or, you know, they are coming up with like different type of making a house and having children, you know, they ha they can have whatever they like. But after that intention setting, life flows, you know, everything is going to happen one by one. Again, one by one, one thing at a time. First, you're going to put an intention on this, whatever that is. Okay, that was just an example. I'm not saying that you will decide on getting married. I'm not saying that. Like, it's going to take maybe six months. You're going to be like, okay, I have six months. Okay, maybe you're going to say that. Maybe you're going to say like six to like 12 months. Okay, you're going to have that type of like a timeline in your mind. You're going to be like, okay, first, I am going to do this. And then I am going to focus on that. And then I'm going to reach to this Point. It could be for education for some people, to be honest with you. It could be like, first, I am going to get into this exam and I will have my numbers and then I will apply for this thing and then I will, you know, work to pay for this thing. You know, you know you're going to find another kind of a job to deal with this kind of a thing. And then you will, like, maybe have a, you know, a program for yourself and then you're going to apply for another kind of a thing. Like, it could be like a student exchange. It could be for some type of a scholarship, you will plan everything one by one, one by one. Everything is just like one by one, one at a time. And it is going to be so successful because there is no darkness here. There's nothing go going on. Like it's no bad thing. It's a good thing. It is talking about like calmness, serene mind who knows what they are doing. So you're going to be successful. Okay. And also the door is also talking about that too. You will have the success. I saw two champagne glasses, some type of um, celebration, or it could be uh, like a, you know, the, I just saw two. It could be like love related situation, okay? For some, for some, a love message. Somebody is so happy, it's just like uh, standing on one foot. Do you remember the. Uh, you know, when you're, which which movie was it? Was it Princess Diaries? Something like that? Uh, you know, kissing somebody and the foot is just going up. <laughs> Something like that can happen for some people. If you're single, you can actually meet with somebody. If you have like an intention of like getting involved with a relationship, I think it will come to you. In 1111 intentions, 1111 manifestation, what you're going to have. If, let's say that if it is a relationship that you're asking for, it will come to you. You will have it. Like, it will come to you with, like, in a beautiful way. I don't know how to say it. It's not, be, it's not something like, mm, it's not going to make you feel upset at first. Like, maybe, okay, let's, let's talk about, like, this person was just, like, acting cold. And now they're going to have, like, a better way of dealing with, relationship situations okay and they will uh they will make you feel happy i didn't see like a regret i didn't see past wounds i didn't see sadness and grief that belongs to the yesterday what i saw is like everything is good everything is good so in this relationship, either this is like a new person who is going to make you feel so excited about, or if it is like an old person that you know before, this person is going to have like a 180 change. It's going to make everything amazing, okay? I saw some type of um, sacrifice. It does not have to be like, a, you know, animal sacrifice. It could be, you know, I, I think I talked about it before in one of the coffee cup readings, maybe more than that. But, you know, um, there, if there's an intention, sometimes people are just like putting up some sacrifices. It doesn't have to be sacrifice. It can be like a donation. Most of the time it is a donation now. Nobody is sacrificing animal anymore. So, it's a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing. You know, sometimes people are just, you know, the old school people are saying that you have to shed blood. I am not so sure anymore. You know, I don't think so. But, you know, what I see here is like the shape of the head of the animal. And it is talking about like a big intention requires maybe some type of like a big uh, donation, big sacrifice or, you know. And I think you're going to have it and it will, it will make you feel happy. And, or, you know, it doesn't have to be like that all the time. Sometimes it is about like, uh, you feel so happy. 
you feel so blessed and you would like to share that blessing with the others. Like, you know, we are talking about the Christmas. Christmas is coming and for some people it is really valuable thing. Maybe not in where I am living right now, but I saw how people are treating you know, Christmas. And you can have like, I, I am blessed. I am with my family. You know, life is treating me well. And I would like to share that blessing with the people who are in need. You can say something like that too. And if you share, if you give as much as you take from life, your life is going to be better. Okay? Your life is going to be better. That was it from the cup. Uh, let's see. Okay. Like, in the middle, if there's like a dropping in the middle, it is talking about a wish is coming true, a manifestation is coming true. Okay? So... It's already too good to be true for you. Like in this cup, what I saw is like amazing. Okay, there's going to be money that will come to you. If it is what you want in money situation, it will come to you. If you want a relationship, it will come to you. Because I saw two people over there. They're talking and they're really close. Like a clarification of a certain matter. Like maybe this person ghosted you. Okay, let's talk about it. If there was like a person who ghosted you who just like disappeared from your life. And then, you know, I'm not speaking about the assets, okay? I'm not speaking about them. What I'm speaking about is, like, the there was, like, some genuine situation going on. And all of a sudden, something went wrong, okay? I'm just speaking about that. I'm not speaking about, like, the weird people who happens to be really immature when it comes to relationships. I'm not speaking about that. This person is going to come up with, like, the clarity. What happened? Why it happened? What did they leave? And if they are seeing your perspective, they're going to talk about it too. And, you know, there's a person that I feel is just like um, having a lot of things to say. They would like to, you know, this person might actually explode. You know, it might not be like a normal communication for some people. Yeah, you know, okay, let's sit down and talk about it. For some people, yeah, it is. And it is really impactful by itself. But for some people, what I saw is like, this person is just like bursting. This person is just like maybe even crying. This person is just like cannot stop talking. This person is just like so heavily emotional when it comes to sharing their situation, whatever, whatever that is, okay? And um, if they are going to declare their love, it is going to be dramatic. And you're going to feel like, okay, what's going on? Should I take it as like a red flag? No. <laughs> I mean, it's all up to you, whatever you see, okay? But what I felt is not like negative. What I felt is, yes, intense, but it is not negative, okay? And this, you know, wish is coming true. For, peeps, for, for some people, it is like a, a situation that didn't come to the conclusion is coming to a conclusion. And it's a re really good kind of a conclusion. Are, you know, are we going to be together or not? It's all up to you. I'm not saying that you will be, you know, changed to this person, even though this person is a little weird. I'm not saying that, okay? There's, there's no such weirdness. That's what I saw. What I saw here is like, it's all up to you, your decision. You're going to be the one who is deciding. And there's a lion, I see. From my perspective, this is the lion, isn't it? And this lion is just like sitting in, waiting calmly. Lion is just like really good type of an animal when it comes to symbols, you know, when it comes to like giving those type of symbols. Like they don't push themselves that much at the beginning. Most of the time they are just like lying down. <laughs> but what I see is like this lion is so graceful. And this is not the first lion I saw. In two days, I saw a lot of lions. So either it could be Leo or maybe you're dealing with a Leo. I don't know. It could be. It doesn't have to be, though. Like the, the symbol of a lion. Graceful. Powerful. Knows what to do. And this lion is just like, okay, cool. Tell me. Yeah, tell me what is happening in your mind. Tell me what happened in your life. You're going to be so graceful about that. Okay? That is a good sign. And yeah, there's a money. This is a money thing. You know, for some people it's a money thing. Or, you know, if it's not like a money thing, for some people it is like a big blessing, a big... Um, 
result when it comes to love, what to expect from people, okay, those kind of things. Before you go, I would like to uh, look at the tarot cards as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You see, there's like a tower, you know. You know, there's a tower and there's like a wish fulfillment. Like this, whatever this like uh, emotional outburst, it will make you happy. I don't know, for some people. You know, every time I give that example, I feel like, it's stupid, but I am going to say it anyway. Like in the Harry Potter, they were like reading the tea leaf cups and, you know, the Ron was saying that you're, you're going to suffer, but you're going to be happy about it. It was like that to Harry and that's exactly what happened. And <laughs> I'm not saying that you're going to suffer, but some type of like a clarity will come to you. And, you know, the other person is going to talk a lot and you're going to be okay. Okay. You're going to be happy about it. Okay, let me put this, it's making a lot of noise. Everything is making a lot of noise. I don't know why. Let's see what you can expect from 1111, what type of, okay, some type of like, you know, the waiting, um, some type of like, is it going to be good? Like long-term investments that we were speaking about, right? Like six months, like 12 months, learning and growing. It could be for some, genuinely, it could be like learning and growing, expanding in a way, maybe in a uh, in trade, something like that could happen for some. Okay. You see, that's also, you know, the hermit is talking about the learning and growing. For some, it is all about that, okay? But it also, it is about like, um, deciding what is first, deciding for yourself, like being the pioneer, you know, the hermit is the one who happens to be the pioneer. Like, the, you know, the decision making that is going to make you feel happy. This decision making, this planning and growing and learning and focusing on those type of things, it's going to make you feel really happy, okay? Yes, there's there's happiness again. Should I put anything on it? I didn't put anything on my cards in this ones. We have the sun card. Like a child. For some people, it's like a child, like making children. Not going to lie, okay? Like making a family, like creating a new family and having a child. Maybe more, like one, two, and three. We were talking about the three, okay? Oh, you, one, two, and three. <laughs> okay, that is for sure. Somebody's going to have three children, okay? I don't know who that is, but congratulations, boo. You will have three children. For some people, it is related to receiving some type of a message. Like, we were talking about this, like, an opportunity that was going to make you happy you know that that was gonna make you feel so powerful I think you might have some type of like you know the news regarding those type of things but it is also about like a you have two pages could be related to love love messages could be okay I, when I was talking about love I immediately picked the lovers I have to put another one on the top why everybody is naked you know when I was feeling when I was using the other deck I have to say that, you know, I put this sticker on it and when I was just like carving, when I was picking the cards, it, you know, the lover's card was just like showing itself quite a lot and I was feeling like, did I do something wrong? Like, put this sticker, that's why I'm always pulling the same card. But it is not the case because, you know, I'm using this deck now and I'm not putting anything on it. Still picking the lover's card for every reading. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I had to share that thing with you. Uh, in love, you're gonna be happy. In love, what I see for you, like long-term commitment, and like this is gonna turn into maybe like some type of a family unit. It could turn into like a long-term relationship for some people. It could be like a partnership. It could be literal partnership. But uh, oh my God, more naked bodies. Okay, what is going on? I I spent all of my. 
notes, okay? <laughs> you have the judgment. For some people, genuinely, what I feel, and also, you know, the judgment and the lovers together is talking about, like, a, an old situation that didn't make you happy. It is going to turn, you know, it's like having a revival. It is going to make you feel happy now. And also, like, there's a sun card. There's, like, a happiness card, like a ten of cups we are speaking of. You're going to be happy. This happiness belongs to you. In 11-11, in what you are manifesting yourself is the form of happiness. This happiness is going to be different for everybody, okay? If you're not interested in a relationship, something else is going to come up. And it is going to make you feel so happy. And if it is like an old love, it is going to just like revive itself. It's going to turn like 180. I said that before. Like, it's going to make you feel so happy. If it is like a new love, it could be like a first... Love at first sight and all of a sudden it's going to turn into like a thing. But it is just going to happen because you already made up your mind when it comes. You know what? I would like to get married. I would like to have children. Or I would like to have a partner in my life. Something like that. You are going to have that type of a mindset. And that's why life is going to present you the opportunity of having a good relationship. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And also like there's a tower. Uh, I'm not reading it as like a negative thing, but what I'm going to read it as like um, some type of like it could be for some people like what you thought that was going to make you happy. It's not making you happy anymore. It's not giving you that same drive anymore. Like whatever you are doing. Okay, maybe it is like a work related situation. Let's go with that example. Okay, you thought that if you excel on that work, you're going to be so happy and then you excelled on that work and it's not making you happy anymore. What are you going to do? Readjust yourself for another type of a happiness. You will plan again, you will find something else for yourself and then you will focus on that and it's going to make you happier. It, for some people, for others, it's going to be like all of a sudden, uh, shocking like maybe you are not expecting or maybe let's say that if you're expecting okay let's say that you would like to get married okay but life doesn't bring like fast opportunities that much like you are gonna first meet with somebody then you are going to get along with that person maybe you're gonna spend some time with that person and then your families are gonna meet and everything is good maybe you can get married in like two years and then you're gonna have a child maybe in three years I don't know it's not like that it's gonna be like so fast it's gonna be we met this time we knew what we wanted our families are getting along marriage it's gonna be fast for some people for some and for the others what i would like to say that you know the uh, emotional upheaval that we were speaking about it the these type of things like this communication with somebody specific is going to happen because the other person is going to have this emotional um outburst this person is feeling i have to do something about it i have to talk about it i have to fix the situation judgment i have to I have to focus on my, you know, future with this person specifically. They're going to choose you. And they're going to choose the happiness with you. This is going to bring, like, hear me out. Hear me out. You don't know what happened. They're going to explain certain things to you. You're, they're you're, they're going to explain how they were feeling. Maybe they were feeling really bad. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they were feeling really, really bad. And this is turning. This is like changing its course. Like whatever that is happening, whatever that was happening before, it, it's going to change. What you're going to have is going to be totally different. Like 180, 180 different. Like this person was giving you the cold shoulder. They were ghosting you. They were not being that interested. Oh, my God. They're going to be your biggest fan. They're going to be all around you. They're going to be like... Uh, I cannot spend see, not seeing you for five minutes. They're going to be like, at least let me see you for five minutes. That type of a person this, this person is going to turn into. And not because they're going to have like a, a character shift. They're not going to change their character. This is that type of person already. But they didn't show it to you first for any kind of reason, Okay could be different for everybody but this person is going to show their true colors to you a lot of colors you can see and um, you know this emotional 
outburst emotional not outburst outburst is not like outbursts are talking about like some type of negativity isn't it like this emotional spill is going to make everything happen for you okay I don't know why it turned into like a love thing. It doesn't have to be a love thing, okay? What is going to happen for you is like a sudden, unexpected, yet it is fated. And it's going to make you so happy. Okay? It's going to make you so happy. You will feel blessed. Again, you know, you would like to share what type of blessing that you are having with the other people. Maybe you can focus on like... Uh, Helping other people, volunteering, those type of things can be important for your life in the near future. Okay? That was all. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope to see you in the next ones. Bye! Mm -hmm.